Wait, hold up, have you seen the latest GT6 map leak? It's got white city as this massive urban sprawl, with smaller cities and towns dotting the countryside. It's giving me major San Andreas vibes and I'm loving it. Imagine the endless possibilities for chaos and adventure in a map like that. Rockstar, please make it happen. Who else is hyped for this potential masterpiece of a map? Subscribe if you want me to give away multiple GT6 copies on the release date. Thank you and let's go. So we're starting off with not leak Rockstar Games as this is basically just a Santa Monica and this uh, footage looks pretty sick and I really hope the GT6 game will be something like this. A new map of GT6 has been leaked showing that a game has extensive vegetation coverage. So this is the mapping project that we already saw before and basically what do we have. But there is one more leak that someone is showing on his Twitter page and basically this one over here. Official release of the map lol. I don't know about this one where this guy found it but it doesn't seem like an actual game something it's basically like a real life footage more like from uh, some drone or something I don't know because it actually looks like it's not and it's not in game and it does not really look like an actual map but just source trust me bro and all I'm saying that it would be nice if uh, these people stop hyping up this type of maps but don't worry, we got actually good map that we already worked on and the uh, like and, and the mapping project worked worked on it and some other people worked on it and this one we're looking into right now as this is the third version of the map concept. This guy already posted it before, we already talked about it and this one uh, with white city colors looks pretty sick. As basically here we could see a lot of locations and uh, him saying that played a bit with colors and names here, also added more small towns and stuff for less excessive emptiness and it's based on the newest mapping project update. Also same map in an old style that we already uh, talked about and looked at uh, as well as a comparison just in case someone thinks it looks small. Look, uh, it looks to me like what 2.5x uh, than GTA 5 map. Next up, what do we have here? Take two plans to cancel multiple games in order to cut costs for 2024. As basically, we could see this on the news, and we already discussed it yesterday as of the news, too. Take two's big earnings call set on the 16th May 2024. They will discuss the plans for fiscal year 2025 and most likely reveal the GT6 release timeframes. And maybe they will release some screenshots as they did before uh, on uh, the GTA 5. Excited for the audio design. Some Something I'm really excited to see and it isn't much talked about, it's an audio design. I still remember the first time I saw a leaked gameplay from the Red Redemption 2 on the day before launch. The first thing I noticed was how awesome the gun sounded. How good the horse galloping on grass field sounded. As you hear the bass uh, with each hoof and then when I finally played it. The way the footsteps sounded on wood as the spurs on your boots move, etc. I'm excited to see how much improvement there will be in GT6 when it comes to audio, from its quality all the way to the details added. So how will the gun sound? From their bang all the way to the material noises and how different type of weapons and their materials sound. 5 already does it noticeable, imagine improved. The cars even went idling. And how will the different exhaust options affect it? How overall your throttle play and RPMs have dedicated notes? If that's the correct way to say it, because in 5 sometimes it feels that there is only low and high RPM. No in between. Breaking discs, interior rattles when going over bumps, random interior shake when on highway, etc. Something I always digged in 5 was the way you hear the hot engine as you step out of the car. Overall, just excited to see the quality of the audio. Has always been something else that Rockstar does well, but 10 years later, I'm expecting such a big improvement. Imagine how much more sound effects from the city we will have as well. Lauder cars going through gears in the distance, highway noises, sirens, random gunshots, dogs barking at night, wind and waves, seagulls, and people when walking by the beach area. Just to name a few, stuff that I really appreciate in game when I see 
it. Maybe it's a bit nerdy, but oh well, that's what we want. GT6 could introduce dynamic weapon sounds that evolve based on various factors such as environment, weather and its character's proficiency. Imagine guns sounding different when fired in a rain-soaked alley compared to sun-drenched rooftop. I hope they have realistic reverberation and echo effects. And for instance, gunfire might sound deafening in narrow alleys, but muffled uh, in open fields. It's been done before, but to varying degree of success. Okay, hear me out. Binaural beats are the technology that affects brainwave patterns by playing different frequencies in different ears. There's pretty strong scientific consensus that it works and can affect mood and reaction time and stuff. I know it's far out, but I think they could be used in a video game to simulate loosely how the character is actually failing. Next up, do you think we will get the NASA and uh, KC, uh, uh, KSC parody as the NASA is such a huge thing that if we are getting the entire state or at least a massive map, do you think we will get the Kennedy Space Center and NASA parody? If so, how would you like to see it? A large center or keep it small? Like Zon, uh, like Zancudo in uh, 5 and something small compared to its real life counterpart. What kind of missions would you like to see with it? And should we get flat earthers at the fence? And of course, how do you think the satire would be? We'll have GT's version of NASA known as Sera. This can be confirmed by live events from 2022 leaks. Thanks to the mapping community, you can also see a small island at the top of the map, which looks like it will be entirely be for Sera, as we might get a mission that will make us go to the facility. Maybe we get a random rocket launches, some are successful, and some will fail. So what does Sarah stand for? The NASA parody is called Sarah. What does it stand for? My best guess is Space Exploration and Research Administration. And that's a really great suggestion as I would say. Who remembers how GT3 and GT4 started? Now this is how I am hoping GT6 starts since it honestly makes too much sense. This just fits the bill since the two protagonists so far are male and female. And since it's Rockstar, how could the game not start out where the girl protagonist picks up you, uh, the dude up from jail and you have to basically start from the bottom, similar to how Fallout or Skyrim is in a sense. Just the game starting out with a cutscene of the protagonist getting arrested and then the game starts two years later and you walk Walk out with nothing but the clothes on your back and what you came in with. I've had a fixation on CD themes uh, per se for GT6. What I mean that is like how Liberty CD is so gritty and gloomy but has sort of that old style glitz in certain parts of the city. Or Los Santos being the sort of place where you can remake yourself or start a new life to earn a new live. Well, I'm guessing that for the cities in Lanita it will be same sort of sins. There they will feature multiple cities and here's that I think. Y City, Latin influences, artist haven, party club scene, full of nightlife and full of people who want a vacation and for the rich to spend like a sailor. Port Galhorn, industrial but historical, older than, older than Vice City and having its Cajun Southern charm. Could be cheaper for tourists and it's fairly redneck towards the outskirts compared to Vice City. Sundown, tropical paradise, margaritas, Caribbean Cape Cod vibes, a place to relax more than so than the Vice City or PGH, but like the end of the line for most people. So that's kind of all the information we have for today and all the rumors as I would say because mostly everything we discuss is rumors. So if you want more videos on those topics that we have on the GT6, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, there is more awesome content coming. See you in the next one and peace.